Students in this fifth grade class here at Woodlawn Elementary School have plenty to say about their award-winning teacher, and they don't mind sharing their thoughts. That's because they are smart, articulate, and self-confident. No doubt a reflection of what they're being taught in Dr. Dolores Tapia's classroom. I was amazed how good I was at math because she helped me unlock my potential that I didn't even know I had. I thought that I was going to fail and be the only one who wasn't smart in my family. With encouraging words like this everywhere you turn, and the notion that someone really believes in you, there really is no limit. And Dr. Tapia's students truly believe that. Here they are just days leading up to the STAR test, and they radiate confidence. She says, never give up and to never lose hope because you should just try. Because if you give up, you might not make it, but she really encouraging me to make a STAR test. So I think I'm really prepared. Prepared to tackle the test and anything else that may come her way. That's because she has a teacher who looks for any and every opportunity to highlight success. How we define success? Because there's going to be some kids, unfortunately, that are not going to get that passing score on the STAR test. And the, the state is going to define them as unsuccessful. But that's far from the truth. I mean, if you sent me a child that came in with a fourth grade equivalent of math, you know, and they got to the end of fifth grade, that's awesome because I've done and they've learned two years worth of math in nine months, but we're going to define them as unsuccessful and that is so wrong. Dr. Tapia makes it her mission to not only look for the smallest of successes, but she does so while also raising the bar. Dr. Tapia's expectations are high and the students know it. But every day is a new day, so you know, you just wake up and you're positive and you come in and, and if something's not working, you change it and you throw in a sense of humor and you let, the, I let my kids be real, I'm real with them. Um, and you know, when they ask me honestly, um, you know, Dr. Tapia, are you my friend? I'm like, the answer is no. I'm your teacher. I am your teacher until June. I said, the day after we get out of here, you can ask me that and the answer is yes. Dr. Tapia not only motivates, she models behavior she wants to see in her students. She is a lifelong learner, having taught all the way from the elementary level to the collegiate level. And many who work alongside her agree, education is truly her passion. She loves to learn. She will get out there and she'll learn everything there is to know about something new or innovative and she'll run with it and she'll bring it back and put it into, into action and it works for her. It works for her, but more importantly, it works for her students. I used to be in fourth grade, like, oh man, I hate math so much, but now I come in here, I'm like, I love math. There's so much math in my head now. And I just found, found out that math is amazing. And plus, I also found out that I need it for my future jobs that I want. It's that kind of enthusiasm for learning that is contagious. Principal Kelly Loving says she has seen it time and time again when it comes to Dolores Tapia. Principal Loving hired Tapia to teach at Smith Elementary and hired her again while at Allen and Woodlawn. It's not about the test with Dolores, it's about having the students a lot of times those students that are not successful in the classroom find success, uh, believe in themselves, do well, and have fun while they're doing it. So what is the secret? How do you motivate and get results like this? For Dr. Tapia, it's pretty simple. I don't think there's a secret. I think it's just I'm still finding teaching exciting. And that is worth an award all its own.